Good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to the daily tips of radiology. I am Dr. Ahmed Ghia Abdul Wahab. I am a diagnostic and, and, and interventional radiologist working in Razgari Teaching Hospital in the Department of Radiology in Erbil, Iraq. First of all, uh, let me say uh, please subscribe to our channel and second if you have any topics that you would like uh, to talk about or to discuss in the daily tips please uh, suggest the topics in the comment section today we are going to talk about a very very common disease in the especially in the middle east area that is the hydatid cyst or echinococcosis echinococcosis uh, it's a parasite that uh, uh, in which uh, it is the definitive host is in the dogs and foxes uh, while in the intermediate host is uh, is in the sheep uh, when a human comes uh, in between uh, the human becomes an intermediate host uh, and uh, what will happen is that this uh, the parasite will start uh, that's that its name it's echinococcus granulosus it will start forming cysts that contains the scolices of the uh, hydatid disease uh, and these cysts can form practically anywhere in the body uh, as uh, professor uh, Khaled Naji used to say uh, echinococcosis can occur anywhere except hair and nail so they can happen anywhere but the most common location in which the hydatid disease usually occurs is the liver and the second most common is the lungs uh, but Again, it can happen anywhere, including brain, kidney, spleen, peritoneum, and all other areas. So, regarding the classification of the hydatid cyst, uh, first, it's, it, the, the, the radiologically and pathologically, what will happen is that there will be a, the, the parasite will start forming a cyst, and this cyst will displace the liver parenchyma, forming a fibrous capsule around the cyst so there will be like three layers that's the ectocyst peris, pericyst and endocyst the ectocyst is the compressed fibrous capsule surrounding the cyst okay and uh, then the wall of the cyst itself and then the inner layer of the cyst that con that forms the scolices uh, and in which the, the daughter cysts are attached to so regarding classification uh, it can be classified uh, according to which stage the cyst has uh, reached uh, first of all there is the stage one in which it's basically a simple cyst it looks like a very well defined unilocular cyst that has a peripheral layer indicating the fibrous capsule uh, it usually doesn't enhance the inside of the cyst does not enhance uh, possibly some enhancement you see in the periphery of, of the cyst uh, stage 2 has three sub stages that's 2a 2b and 2c 2a in which the cyst has multiple daughter cysts attached to the wall this is very characteristic appearance stage 2b the cysts are filling the the daughter cysts are filling the main cyst and stage 2c there will be some uh, cysts filling the uh, multiple cysts filling the uh, original cyst with some areas of calcification or mass like lesions uh, due to maturation of the cyst stage 3 in which the cyst is calcified and this means dead cyst and stage 4 is in which the cyst is uh, complicated for example ruptured infected whatever so these are the stages of the cyst now we, it's time for us to see some examples hydatid cysts can occur in any size can occur anywhere can occur in any number can be single cyst or can occur as a multiple innumerable cysts usually it's very common in the middle east and areas where there are sheep uh, because uh, transmitted by the uh, fecal material of the sheep for example in this uh, city of the abdomen with the uh, iv contrast you can see there are multiple cysts in the liver and these cysts are of different sizes but all of them are unilocular and if you look carefully you can see the peripherally compressed liver parenchyma that's the ectocyst which is part of the human body not part of the uh, parasite okay and there is another cyst here in the spleen okay 
the same case in another view you can obviously see the cyst in the spleen you can see the cyst in the liver of course uh, there are multiple differential diagnoses for this appearance like cystic metastasis can be multiple simple cysts uh, of the liver like polycystic uh, uh, liver disease or polycystic kidney disease with liver involvement you can see here this cyst is this is CT without contrast and you can obviously notice the cyst is calcified here indicating that this is a stage 3 liver cyst high liver high dated cyst it's a dead cyst another calcified cyst seen in the liver you can see the dense peripheral calcification and the uh, cloud like calcification of the content of the cyst the same case you can see it in coronal reconstruction two calcified cysts you can see here there is there are multiple cysts within adjacent to each other within the right segment of the uh, right lobe of the liver sorry uh, with peripheral enhancement with, with peripheral compressed uh, uh, liver parenchyma peripheral uh, compressed fibrous tissue you can see in this case there are multiple daughter cysts within the main cyst you can see this is the main cyst here containing multiple one two three four five multiple daughter cysts that are attached to the periphery of the cyst indicating this is a stage 2a after contrast injection you can see this is the original the mother cyst containing multiple daughter cysts and there is some enhancement in the periphery of the cyst the ectocyst the part of the human body the fibrous capsule if you look at the coronal reconstructed images you can also notice in addition to the cyst in the liver there are other cysts in the pelvis and in the peritoneum all of them contain multiple daughter cysts with peripheral enhancement these are stage 2 cysts again this is CT without contrast of the abdomen showing a cyst in the right lobe in segment 4 containing multiple filled with multiple daughter cysts again you can see this the same condition in uh, the same case in a different uh, slice and this is what the hydrated cysts cyst look like in uh, with surgical removal of course this is filled with scoliosis and what they what uh, is what they do is that they inject alcohol in the cyst before they touch it uh, so that the scoliosis die and then they uh, pull or evacuate the fluid from within the cyst be, uh, before they remove it because uh, if the cyst structure keep in mind if the cyst structure uh, some people say it's worse than malignancy because the scoliosis will disseminate all over the peritoneal cavity the abdominal cavity and each one of them will form its own cyst there will be multiple innumerable cysts in the abdomen uh, sometimes it might result in anaphylactic shock that's why before you intervene with any cyst in the liver or anywhere else you should be sure that this is not a hydrated cyst otherwise if you rupture it if the fluid spill into the cavity it will ha one of two will happen either you will result in uh, you'll have a an anaphylactic shock or you will have multiple innumerable cysts will form so uh, that will be our daily tip for today thank you for watching and hope to see you uh, again uh, next week please write your comments yeah, write your suggestions and don't forget to, to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends thank you very much